All right, here we go. Look at that. Looky, looky here. Running water in the cabin. Rainwater harvested. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to St. Bernard Acres, the home of the off-grid cabin. <laughs> Today, we're going to hook up running water. We're going to have running water to the sink in the kitchen. And I'll show you what I've got, if I can. This is a pump I bought. It's a FlowJet automatic multi-fixture pump. $5. It was used out of a RV. And 3.2 gallons per minute maximum flow, which is pretty good. It's 12 volt and it will it's on demand basically. Once it's hooked up, I don't have to turn it on and off. It will when I turn the faucet on, the pump will come on. I used this jump starter, one of these things, to test it with. <coughs> so, let me show you what else I have here. All the parts. So this has a half inch barb on it and a half inch fine thread uh, outlet. Not what I, I was expecting. I mean, this has been sitting out here in the barn for a, a year. I forgot what everything on it was. So naturally, we had to make a run to Rural King to try to buy what I need. I need this to go to a 3 8 inch metal barb for the hose. Well, no problem with that. See that? Only problem is that's fine thread. This is coarse thread. So, I'm going to be able to get it up and running, but I'm going to have to unconnect it, take this piece out, and take it and find what goes on it. A fine thread is what I'm going to need. But the hose will go into this, and then it will go, this will go in it, and that will become the supply line for the kitchen sink. You'll see it. It'll make sense as I go along. And this is the hose going from the pump to the kitchen. I bought 3 8 inch because, like I said, all of them are 3 8 inch barbs that I saw. But I had to go at Roll King and buy a half inch inside diameter hose to go from the barrel to the pump, which is no biggie. You know, it's not a problem. I can take the 3 8 stuff back to Lowe's. This is for an overflow on the barrels. Because I'm going to connect them together. And what I'll do Drill a hole towards the top of the barrel, put this in, like so. Well, once I find everything, you put that in, this inside the barrel. When it gets full, it's going to go here. Then the hose is going to screw onto this end, which is sticking out of the barrel, and I can direct the water away from the cabin, the overflow. This little doohickey is to connect the two barrels. I'll drill a hole towards the bottom of each one. Then this is the same thing as the white one I showed you. It's going to unscrew, go through the hole, tighten it back down again. Then the hose will go on. And run between the two barrels. So I'll always have two full barrels of water when I come out here, which should be all I need. 
All right, we're back outside. There's the pump. There's the barrel. There's a beam, and it's going to mount on that beam. Just like that. It's going to get mounted there. That way the hose will come right out here, straight into the barrel. The other hose will go on the other side, on that bib, and run under the cabin and up into the kitchen. And we are good to go. All right. So let me get to screwing everything up, and then we'll be back. All right, welcome inside the cabin for a minute. This is my solar control board with my inverter or charge controller, inverter, fuses, circuit breakers, blah, 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 blah. A lot of people ask what this was besides being dirty. Jeez. This is a step down converter. I'm running a 24 volt system here in the cabin. But like the water pump I'm getting ready to install, it's 12 volt. So what happens is this box right here, you can see it says 24 volt DC to 12 volt DC. That's what it does. So my pump is gonna be wired into this fuse block here. Now I got a 30 amp fuse and I only need 10, but who knows where the fuses are. This will get us going. So I'm going to hook up, I'm going to put my positive wire up here, my negative wire down there, and we're going to be live. Then we'll go outside, hook up the pump. All right, so there's the pump wired up, hung on that beam, the input coming through this half inch line up and into the barrel. Now, Gary is going to put the fuse in. And we're going to see if water shoots out this pump. There, oh, shoot, there it goes. Nice. <laughs> All right, turn it off. Perfect. Man. Wow. Okay, you saw it there, folks. Now we got to go in the kitchen, put the sink together, run the line down through the floor, and over here to the pump. That was perfect. Everything's hooked up, and look, the sink has a faucet. Gary is going to put the fuse in, and we're going to see, not yet. <laughs> If anything leaks because we don't have the right clamps so this is just a t I'm going to open this valve yep. so it doesn't build up pressure and we'll see if water shoots out of it all right I'm open looky there look at the pressure hell yes And it is turned up. Look at that. Is the pump running? No. Nope. Let me go out. You can hear, can't you? Yep. You can hear when I turn the water on? Because I can't hear it over here. Okay. Look at how? Huh? Yeah. Look at that. Holy crap. Yeah. All right. All right, pull it out. <laughs> We're good. Check it out, dude. We got running water in the cabin. Let's go out here. Well, nothing's going to be leaking because it's not running. But we can see if anything leaked. All right. Yeah, it's because it's a long connector. Oh, you can see it leaking there. Yeah, it's the wrong, driven. wrong yeah. connector. But you know what? I want to do one more time. Well, as you can see, what, what started out to be a gorgeous day and a great weekend somehow has turned to rain. 
but I do have running water in the cabin now. That was the goal. I wanted to get everything mowed and cleaned up, but that <laughs> just kills me. I love it. Ah, oh, what a game changer. What a game changer a little electric is. Or a little water. Duh. I've had electric. Um, you can tell it was a long day. Did, I mean, it did a bunch of weed eating and brush cutting in areas to try to clear out and help Alex out. So that was the morning. That was a lot of hard work. But then crawling under to do the water lines. But you can see where it came from, nobody knows. Because it was so clear and supposed to be so clear all day and all night. And we got enough rain that all the humidity came back. And it just, it sucks. It's supposed to rain four or five hours tonight and then all starting tomorrow morning and then all afternoon tomorrow. So... I just put everything up, you know, no need to mow. But I appreciate y'all watching. Glad you got to see I hooked up the, the water. Maybe you'll learn something from it. It was hard doing video, uh, but hopefully it made enough sense how I put it together. And if it didn't ask me, I'll tell you. But I'm glad I finally got to show that pile converter too. The step down converter because you would not believe how many questions I had asked people ask me what is that <laughs> now you see what it is but I'm gonna figure out what to do about dinner now try to get this stuff uploaded for you this is Joe out here at St. Bernard Acres the home of the off-grid cabin now with running water I'm out